Assalamualaikum, everybody. My name is Nabil Alam, and I work for Senator Tim Kaine. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to address all of you. As you guys know, there's an important election coming up in, in just a few days' time. Uh, there are a number of cal candidates and, and uh, priorities on the ballot. Um, having the opportunity to work for Senator Kaine, um, you know, there are important priorities for our community um, that you know, will be addressed and need to be addressed as, as we move forward. Um, I have State Senator Dick Slasso uh, from the Democratic Party um, who's here to talk about some of those priorities and to talk about Senator Kane's track record in the Commonwealth. Salam alaikum. Uh, uh, and I, I hope I said it right there. Thank you all. Some of you, uh, I may have already been at your door. I, I like knocking on doors and, you know, meeting gives me an opportunity to meet, you know, the people in my district. Tim couldn't be here today, Senator Kane couldn't, and he asked me to speak in his behalf. And they've given me a lot to say here, but I'm not going to read this because I've known Tim Kane now since 2000. And give you a little bi biography. He grew up in the Midwest, and his father worked in a union shop. He was an iron worker, and uh, Tim learned really some good values. Um, and to give you an example, uh, he was at Harvard Law School. He interrupted his education to go on a mission uh, down in, I think it was Honduras, and he taught people carpentry and ironworking that he had learned from his father. Um, he and Ann Holton, his wife, uh, her father had been governor of Virginia uh, uh, years before, from 1970 to 74. But they moved, to, uh, they moved to Virginia, and Tim, in the 90s, uh, got elected to the city council. Senator Kane did then. And then he was mayor. And in the year 2000, uh, we were getting, everybody started getting ready for the, uh, the statewide elections in 2001 when you would elect the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the attorney general. Our leading candidate was a woman by the name of Emily Couric. You may recognize the last name. Her sister is Katie Couric, who's you know, been on television. Emily came down with pancreatic cancer, and she passed away. And Tim and several other people got into the race for lieutenant governor. Tim won that race uh, in 2001. Four years later, he was elected governor. And while he was governor, he vastly expanded uh, pre-kindergarten, which helped a lot of people who, you know, didn't have the resources to do something like that uh, through the public schools. He put 40% more into education without raising taxes. And Virginia, while he was governor, was selected as, A, the best state to have a business in and the best state to raise a child in. Tim has always been about inclusion. And uh, he got elected to the Senate. He defeated George Allen in 2012. And he um, uh, has been a United States Senator ever since. And the one thing that Tim Kaine has always tried to do is to make sure that the, the state and this country becomes more inclusion uh, of of newcomers. And, and I will tell you from my own personal standpoint, as well as Senator Kane's, there has never been any group of people, an immigrant group, racial group, ethnic group, religious group, that hasn't come to the U.S. that hasn't made us a better country. I mean, every single one that's ever come here has made us a better country. And when I sit and, uh, and Tim Kaine is just as disturbed by this and see this demagoguery that comes out of the White House. Uh, it's disgraceful. And Tim was uh, out there and co-sponsored a bill to overturn this uh, ban that the uh, president had enacted against people who were coming from uh, Muslim countries. Uh, keep in mind, these kids, people have been shooting up the schools and, and all these other mass native born here, okay? Not people coming from the Middle East, native born here. 
And um, uh, he uh, has done everything he could to fight that on health care. On health care. Tim is for this thing called uh, Medicare X. In other words, you would be able to buy on exchanges the same program at a vastly reduced rate that people over 65 have on Medicare. But so, and he's been, he's put in money, he sponsored bills for job training, allowing people to get Pell Grants for, you know, job training instead of just straight college. Uh, we've got to prepare uh, our population for the jobs of the 21st century. And there's nobody more cognizant of that than Senator Tim Kaine. And like I said, he's always been about inclusion and making this place a better place to live for everyone not just a few people okay not just you know people who run around and wave that confederate flag okay tim kane is not about that he is about treating everybody everybody equal and that election is in uh two weeks actually a little less i think now and about 11, 10, 10 or 11 days. And I hope that when you all go in to vote, everybody here registered? Yes. Okay. When you all go in to vote, remember Senator Tim Kaine because he's the one that's looking out for your interest. I honestly believe that. Okay. Like I said, I've known him now since 2000. I didn't have to read this. I know all about Tim Kaine. Okay, and thank you all for allowing me to come here today. It's, it's, uh, it's a real honor to be able to speak to you. So if you'd like to ask a question, he's, uh, Dick Saslaw is actually our senator here at Dar al-Hijra. So feel free to ask questions. And as we've said in the past that the masjid does not endorse anybody, we allow all of our politicians to come speak to you so that you can hear from the politician and ask the questions. But the senator actually represents the Dar al-Hijra area. So if you have questions regarding Virginia issues, feel free to ask. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.